My name is John Abraham and I've been teaching in the School of Engineering here at the University of St. Thomas for about 11 years. I teach courses in mechanical engineering, specifically anything that has to do with heat transfer, fluid flow, or energy. Here at the University of St. Thomas, we have a couple goals. First of all, we try to create engineers who are ready to go make the world a better place, who are ready to use their skills today and solve tomorrow's problems. So we're teaching our students not only the theory uh, behind engineering solutions, but we're also teaching them practice. In fact, you can see that in our courses. We want students to actually build things and break things and try new ideas. We have these kind of activities both inside the classroom in what are called labs, but we also have them in student organizations and groups that are ex extracurricular. One example is the one you see over my shoulder. It's a Formula One car. It's a student group that every year designs builds, tests, and then races this car against other universities. My favorite part about the students and the university that I work at is the students really inspire me. I mean, you can see in their eyes that they want to go out and make this world a better place. They want to solve tough, tough problems that define their generation. And their courage and their audacity to work on these solutions is really inspiring. My most inspiring story was from inspiration from a student. I had a student who was pursuing a master's and bachelor's degree here at St. Thomas. And as part of his degree program, he wanted to um, provide electricity to his home village in Uganda. He was a student who was born in Uganda. And he, he and I worked together to raise funds, design, test, ship and then install a solar power system in this remote village in western Uganda. These villagers had never had electricity and just having a seven and a half watt light bulb in every house changed the entire village. We went over with a group of 13 students, faculty and parents. We installed it. It worked. And turning on the lights in that dark day in western Uganda was for me a life-changing experience.